I am Mine's not live. No, I'm just recording so we okay, have it. Yeah. Um, good morning, everybody. Emerald Clark with Greenville Water. We currently have a 16-inch water main right behind me. Our crews are working at the corner of Brett and Markley Street. We're currently excavating and dewatering the holes, trying to remove all the water out of the hole so our crews can get into it. We've got another 42-inch line down there, so a 16 and a 42-inch line. The 16 is broken. We're currently investigating to see if the 42-inch line has any damage to it. We'll know more once our crews can get all the loose debris out of it and all the water. But currently, as you can see, the roads are closed. Traffic is a little bit delayed, but we have got a full-scale team of partnership out here. We're working with the City of Greenville, the City Police Department, and the City Fire Department. So this is a collaborative effort to ensure the safety of the community, and we just want everyone to try to avoid the area, and we'll have more information soon. Do we know what caused the main break at all? Is that we're still investigating that. We should know once we're able to get in and assess it. Um, there's a variety of things that could cause it, but we want to get in and assess the situation. Do you know what this specific water main is made out of? This I'll double check, but this should be a galvanized main. Okay. Yep. And I saw you guys tearing up pavement down on the other side of the street as well. What's that part of it? So we have to get in and isolate the valve. So we have to turn off the valve and isolate the water so that we don't have further breaks within the system. So it's just to isolate it and prevent any further damage. Do and you I know that some, sorry, apartment complex nearby are without water? Do you know how long they'll be without yeah, water? Yeah, we're estimating about eight hours for the fix. But again, once you get in and you guys can see the water that's gushing out right behind me, they're dewatering. So they're just trying to get all the water out of the hole and the debris. And I've got a better shot of the 16 inch that's broken, but we're trying to get to the 42 inch to see if there's any damage. And we're estimating about eight hours right now to get everything fixed and everybody back on the roads repaired to a safe manner. Um, once we know about that 42, once we're able to get lay eyes on that, we'll know better. Do you tentatively know how many people are without water right now, or is it too early to tell? Not right now. Okay. But we do no. have some impacted businesses and some impacted customers. We are aware of that. Um, and we are working to get that resolved very quickly. Have you ever seen anything like this in downtown Greenville? Um, occasionally we do have breaks. We haven't seen anything like this in downtown Greenville in a while. Um, I think we've got good infrastructure system. We've got good lines in our ground. You know, it's this hidden infrastructure that you can't see that can sometimes cause these types of issues. And I think this is great. Um, unfortunately, this is a first-hand look at what is going into your, you know, water distribution. But um, no, not this size yet. Okay. No one.